and today's challenge is related to climate change. Climate change is bringing basic changes in the way nature has designed these uh, agriculture seasons for us. It is now beginning to challenge the basic resources that have de determined the way the agriculture production in this country or the world has happened over thousands of years. Now, MS Swaminathan Research Foundation under the leadership of Dr. Swaminathan has continued to associate itself with these challenges over the last 30 years. And I understand that thanks to the vision of Dr. Swaminathan, the organization is always able to identify the contemporary as also the future challenges and start finding solutions to those right now. It is one thing to find an answer to a problem that has cropped up and it is another thing to anticipate the problems and find a solution. When you do not anticipate a problem, then there is always a lag between the solution that we found and its implementation, which means that during that interregnum, the ecology suffers, the economy suffers and the people suffer. When you anticipate the issues and start working on that, we ensure that the change management is easier and that is good for the planet, it is good for the general ecology as also the farmers and the consumers. It has been always my a pleasure as well as very useful I have found it to be associated with MS Swaminathan Research Foundation. To understand the whole complexity of the agriculture production system and me being an agriculture science student and working in the civil service, I am aware that an organization like this with a leader like Dr. Swaminathan will be able to tell us how to marry the apparently contradictory nature of economics and ecology. It is very important because unless we look at both of them together, we would not be sustainable in our approach. We need to be sustainable, which means that we are not trying to change the target and finish off the race. What we are trying to ensure is that we achieve the welfare of our people and see how the ecology and this planet earth can continue to sustain that kind of a welfare approach of the humanity. And today particularly in Indian context, where in certain segments we are having surpluses, there has been a market dip and the farmers have not been able to uh, benefit from remunerative prices and therefore we see that they are getting disincentivized. While Indian agriculture has helped the consumer class, it has not helped the farmers per se. Today when we talk about doubling farmers income by 2022, what we mean is to bring about a paradigm shift in agriculture such that the farmers interest in terms of incomes and in terms of welfare are taken care of. And we have to do that in such a manner that it is sustainable. And given the stress on natural resources like soil and water, given the large amount of emission of greenhouse gases resulting in warming and what is called a climate change effect, we need to be extremely devoted to new science, new technology, new policy framework in such a way that the interests of different classes are reconciled. The interests of the consumers, interests of the farmers at one end interest of the production system and the interest of the ecology on the other end and interest of the present and the future. We in the Ministry of Agriculture would always be happy to associate ourselves with the MS Swaminathan Research Foundation and hope to continue to be benefited from the vision of Dr. Swaminathan.